Hey guys, hope you are well. So in this lesson, we talk about the highest common factor. Now, just a quick little recap on factors. Remember that if I gave you the number, let's say I gave you the number uh, 20, right? And I asked you, what are the factors of 20? Well, remember we did it in that lesson and we learned that um, we should always say the number one and the one goes into 20, 20 times. Then we try the number two and the number two goes into 20, 10 times. Then we try the number three, but what you'll find is that three does not go into 20. If you count in threes, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, it doesn't go to 20. So then we try the number four, and that would be four, eight, 12, 16, 20, that's five times. Then we try the number five, but five is already here, and so we stop. As soon as we, as soon as, these numbers get to these numbers, then we stop. So those are the factors of 20. Those are the factors over there, okay? Now, if I, let, if I then said, uh, let's take the number 36, okay? And I asked you to find the factors of 36. Well, there would be one and 36, then two and 18, then the number three can go into 36. 12 times. This is just a recap. That's why I'm going quite quickly. Four can go in nine times. Five cannot go into 36. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. It doesn't go to 36. The number six can go into um, 36 six times. So you can actually just take one of these sixes out or you could leave it there. It doesn't really matter. But if they asked you what are the factors, you would just go to one, two, three, four, six, nine, 12, 18 and 36, okay? You could just write it like that. So if I then asked you this, listen to that carefully. It's the, let's first go find, or it's the highest common factor. So when they say the highest common factor, what they would mean is what is the highest factor that is in 30, 20 and 36? Well, let's look carefully. Um, it looks like it'll probably be the number four, right? The number four is the biggest number that I can find that is in both of them, because there's a four here and there's a four here. Unfortunately, there isn't a five, there isn't a 10, and there isn't a 20 um, in this one over here. So what is the biggest or the highest number that is in both? And that would be the number four. You see it here, it's in this one, and it's in this one. So that is what we call a highest common factor. But now, this was really easy because we used smaller numbers. But when we start using bigger numbers, that's gonna start becoming more difficult to do, and that's what the point of this lesson is gonna be. I'm gonna show you cool ways of how you can find the highest common factor for larger numbers when it isn't possible to do it like this very easily. When I say here that I will, we will be using two methods, um, it's actually the same method. It's just the one you can use a calculator and the other one you can't, just so you can get an idea of how both of them work. Um, it just, it will give you a much better understanding. Okay, so all I want you to do, um, they want us to find the highest common factor, right? Like we looked at over there, highest common factor. We just call it the HCF. Um, but all I want you to do for now is just take these two numbers and break them down like we've done in quite a few of the lessons before this. Just break those numbers down, okay? So we're gonna break the 1080 down. So 1080, you could say, is the same as 540 times two. Um, and then 540, you could say 54 times 10, and then the times two. Then the number 54, uh, you could say, for example, 27 times two. The number 10 is two times five, and then the number, this is just a two. Now, you cannot break these numbers down anymore because they are prime numbers, but the number 27 could still be broken down into nine times three, and then we've still got the two, two, the five, and the two, and then the number nine can be broken into three times three. So we've got that, and then the three, the two, the two, the five, 
and the 2. So 1080 can be broken down into that. So I'm going to simplify that now as 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3. So there's three 2s, okay? So I'll do it like that. And then the number 3, there's three of those, and then 5. So this still gives you 1080, but we're just writing it in a simplified way. Okay, now we're going to take the number 360, and we could, for example, say that that is 36 multiplied by 10, which is the same as, you could say, 9 times 4, or 6 times 6. Now, 6 can be broken down into 2 times 3, this one as well, whoops, and then this one is um, 5 times 2, so I'm going to say 2 times 5, and we can't go any further. So we're going to say 2 to the power of 3, because there's three of them, and then we're going to take the number three to the power of two, because there's two of those, and then there's a five. Okay, now what we do now, okay, is I want us to just write these two numbers on top of each other. So what I mean is um, 1080, we wrote that as two to the three, three to the three times five, and then 360, we got that as two to the three times three to the two, times 5. Now remember when we looked at the LCM, LCM, and I told you guys that when you use this method to find the LCM, I told you that you must always look for the highest, um, you must always look for the biggest or the highest whenever you're comparing them, right? Now when we are looking for the HCF, I actually want you to look for the lowest. So it's the opposite. If they want the highest common factor, then I want you to look for the smallest or the lowest of each of these. And then when they're asking for the LCM, which is the lowest common multiple, I want you to look for the largest or the highest of each of those, okay? So when we look at the twos, which is the lowest? Well, they're both the same. So we're gonna just take any one of those. So for the HCF, we're gonna take two to the three. Then for the threes, which is the lowest? Well, it's this one over here, and so that'll be three to the two, and then which is the lowest over here? Well, they're both the same, so you just take one of those. And now we can go type that on the calculator, so that would be um, two to the three times three to the two times five, which will give us 360 as our answer. So that is our final answer. Now, if your teacher allows you to do this all on a calculator, then let me quickly show you how we would do that. So on a calculator, you wouldn't have to do all of this, and you wouldn't have to do all of this. There is a way that the calculator can give you all of that in one step. Okay, well, it, you can do it for each number, so let me quickly show you. So what you'll do, and I did show this in the lesson on lowest common multiple, so you'll take the first number, which is 1080, type it in, then press equals, then press shift, then press fact, and there it gives you two to the three times three to the three times five. Then you could do the same with 360 equals shift, fact, and then two to the three, three to the two, and five. And then you would do the exact same thing that I showed you. Okay, so that's how you do it on a calculator. Let's do some more examples. There's some more interesting things coming up with HCF, which makes it a little bit different to LCM. Okay, so here's our next example. So all we're gonna do now, so if your teacher allows you to use the calculator method, then you can go straight ahead and just break that number down using the factorial button on your calculator. Um, but if not, then we're gonna break it down. So let, I'm just gonna quickly break these numbers down. Um, 375 and then 1,800 will break down. Okay, so 375, um, that's a bit of a weird one, but it could be, for example, five multiplied. Now, you can use your calculator just to help you along the way. Your, when, the, when your teachers don't want you to use a calculator, it means that they just, they want you to show your steps, okay? But you can still use the calculator to help you along the way. Now, five, or 75 is the same as 25 times three. And this number five cannot be broken down any further. This number can be written as five times five, and then this three cannot be broken down further. So I'm gonna say that the answer is three, and then times by five to the power of three, because there's three of those. Okay, now for 1,800, I would just say um, 18 multiplied by 100. 
and then 18 is the same as 6 times 3, you could also say 9 times 2, 100 is 10 times 10, of course you could say 20 times 5, um, 50 times 2, it doesn't matter, you will get to the same answer eventually, and then 6 is the same as 2 times 3, and then I'm just going to write this times 3, and then 10 is the same as 2 times 5, and then this 10 is also 2 times 5. There we go. So how many 2's do we have? 1, 2, 3. So we can put 3 2's. Then how many 3's do we have? 1, 2. And how many 5's do we have? 1, 2. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to write those two things on top of each other. Because here's where things are going to start getting quite interesting. 5 to the 3. And then 1,800 is the same as 2 to the 3 times 3 to the 2 times 5 to the 2. Okay, now remember when we're doing highest common factor, when we're using this little method, I want you to find the lowest for each one. But there's a little, there's a, um, there's a catch. If you look at the 2s, the, only this one has a 2, and this one doesn't have a 2. So when you are busy writing down your HCF, you will not choose any of the twos. So we're not gonna take any of the twos, okay? Now, moving on, when we look at the threes, who's the smallest one? Well, it's definitely this one, three. And then when you look at the fives, who's the smallest one? Well, that's gonna be this one over here. Now, if you had to go um, multiply this together or work that out, that would give you 75. And now, obviously, the second method, I'm not gonna show you, because you by now you should understand that that would just be when you're allowed to use a calculator and so you wouldn't have to do any of this and you wouldn't have to do any of this. You would just use the fact button on your calculator and it will give you those. Once you have those, then the rest is the same. Okay, here's our last example. So I'm going to start with the number 300 and I'm going to break that number down. So that would be 3 times um, 100 for example. Now 100 is the same as 10 times 10. And then each of those 10s, I will write as 2 times 5. Okay, now that will be 2 to the power of 2, because there's 2 of them. And then uh, times 3, and then times 5 to the power of 2. Then the number 480, um, I'll do over here. I'll, I'll write that as 48 times 10, for example. 48, I will write as, you can do that as like 8 times 6, or... Um, 12 times 4, I like that one, 12 times 4, doesn't really matter, and then multiply by 10, and then the number 12, you could write as 3 times 4, or 6 times 2, times 4, and then the number, t okay, I'll break those, the rest down just now. Okay, now I'm going to quickly move this up, because I'm not done yet, and I'm running out of space over there. Okay, so the number 3, I'm going to leave, the number 4, I'm going to change to 2 times 2, I'm going to do the same with this one over here. And then this I'm going to change to 2 times 5. Now these numbers are prime numbers, so they cannot be broken down any further. And so we will write it as 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, times by 3, times by 5. Okay, so now we've got both. So for 300, we have 2 to the 2 times 3 times 5 to the 2. For 480, we have 2 to the 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. So remember, for the highest common factor, we're going to choose the lowest for each category. So which is the lowest 2? 2 to the 2. Which is the lowest 3? Well, they're both the same, so just choose any one. And then which is the lowest 5? Choose that one over there. Now this part, you can just use a calculator, and the answer will be 60. And then, of course, if we were allowed to use a calculator, then you would skip this, and you would skip this, and you would um, you would simply go and do the fact button on your calculator, and it will immediately give you that, and it would immediately give you uh, that over there for the 300.